Alright, so, um, between tutorials, I have added this nice, uh, grass texture, um, and I think I'll, I'll try to remember to link this in the description if you want to use it, um, but this will just give us a sense of scale, um, when we're moving around in the scene, and, uh, yeah, that's about all I've done, um, in terms of preparation for this, actually this should be at, a uh, zero 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 I don't know why I didn't put that at the origin before but either way um, you can see everything is about the same uh, and in today's tutorial we're gonna be going over controller uh, tracking so just tracking where the controllers are in space relative to you and uh, getting that all sorted so the first thing we want to do is go into oculus and VR and meshes and you can see a variety of controllers so this is a gear vr controller uh go the rift cv1 and the rift s and i'm going to be using these um you can use whatever you want obviously is the model but uh i don't know i kind of like using the controllers since it's more representational of the actual thing that you're tracking so uh now that we've done that you can see they're both imported and uh, just sitting inside of each other basically and uh, I'm gonna add a box collider to each of them um, just for future stuff just is useful to have something like that um, on your models if you plan to have them you know do anything involving collisions in the future which uh, we do as a part of the series um, so yeah that's just a uh, Thing that I'm going to be doing here. You don't need to do that for this though, um, because the functionality for this video will work just fine without it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the controller script, reload it, and uh, just start off with a new um, bit here. So we'll entitle this section controller tracking just for clarity's sake. And when we track these controllers, as you're gonna see, um, we'll look up OVR input Unity, um, and when we track the controllers, you will notice that there's some very helpful methods included intentionally, obviously, by Oculus in order to help us do this very conveniently. So, within OVR input, um, we actually have a locational tracking method um, and so if we just go into our scripts here um, you'll see inside of oculus VR sorry had a little bit of lag there when I reopened it um, and then we go into OVR input if I s search for this um, you can see there's a get controller uh, orientation and all sorts of other methods but there's also a local uh, position and just overall local transform um, that you can just access really easily so that's what we're going to be doing so in order to do this uh, you can see I did add uh, two things for convenience sake before doing this um, a left controller and a right controller these are game objects um, but you could just actually use a transform if you wanted to um, that will just save you a few characters here and there um, and under this I'm just going to say left controller dot uh, local position sorry dot transform dot local position um, and we'll set this equal to um, a method from the OVR input class and that method would be get local controller position um, and in this method, you can see here, if I just highlight over this, um, we have to pass an OVR input controller class. So we're just going to do that. So OVR input dot controller dot, and then in this case, this would be the left touch controller. Um, and that's what we want. So we're going to say L touch. And then. Uh, left controller we're going to do the rotation now so dot local rotation 
equals OVR input, and you can probably guess this next part. OVR input dot get get local controller rotation. OVR input dot controller dot R touch. And then write controller dot transform dot local position equals I can probably just copy this bit. I don't know why I wrote that all out. Um, equals this, and then we're just going to replace L with R here. And then we'll copy this line as well. Make this the right controller's rotation. And I don't know why I wrote um, L here, but that should, or R there, but that should be L. Um, and now we've done all of that. If we go into Unity, you should see that uh, because we've defined our local um, rotations and positions, we'll be able to get um, good controller tracking even when we move our camera rig. Um, and I do want to note that specifically because if you set this to position, um, you're going to get the controller's location within the room, um, which obviously is not an absolute reference in the game itself. If you don't, if you want your player to move around, um, being set directly to world space, um, and because room scale is a smaller environment, you obviously don't want that because if they're using a joystick or anything uh, input based to move around, uh, other than just you know a physical input like walking or running or jumping or whatever um, you're going to end up with issues because your camera rig is moving um, but their controllers aren't being set relative to the camera rig like the uh, headset or the in this case in unity the camera itself is so now we're just gonna test this out that was a little bit long-winded but I feel like it's useful to clarify what's happening as it's happening instead of just you know doing stuff and uh, not giving any explanation whatsoever so let me just grab the controllers oh those are oh my bad guys i don't know why this stuff always has to happen on the run through of every tutorial i always forget something but i forgot to uh, assign these so that's uh, an error you may encounter. Um, you have to assign the references within the script um, or your controllers are never going to be tracked. Um, because you can see they're clipping into me a little bit, but if I hold them far enough away, that's because um, we didn't search for them manually, so we need to have some kind of a reference to the controllers. Um, and that reference is in the script, so just know if you uh, aren't getting any tracking in the game, that may be the cause. So you can see I can move them around, basically, however I want. Obviously, there's a refresh rate, um, but, you know, the tracking is solid, very solid. Um, and in-game, it's exactly how it is um, on your Oculus itself. So, yeah, it's really simple. This tutorial is, you know, pretty straightforward, and uh, I hope this helps you um, get into this. You know, VR is really interesting, and it's a great emergent technology. Um, so, yeah, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, you know, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff, and comment if you have any suggestions for future videos, because I really do appreciate uh, insight on your part. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one